Hi family, I hope that you are well today. Welcome to my channel. On today's video, I have a fun one. I am going to be sharing with you my husband and I's, husband and me's, hus our favorite kitchen items. Now you're probably wondering why I feel like I can recommend things in the kitchen to you. Well, we are not professionals, but I will say that we cook at least one meal a day in our kitchen. We use our kitchen hard. Typically, we're cooking two meals a day. We cook enough at supper for the next day's lunch. So we have a lot of experience in a home kitchen. And I wanted to share with you some of our favorite items in the hopes that you'll find something that will be helpful to you. Now you can clearly see by the mountain of dishes behind me that we really do cook a lot. This is an everyday occurrence. It always looks like this. Tons of dishes, always cleaning up. Our kitchen is a beast. It always needs a good cleanup. It's not my favorite area to clean, so it's not always pristine. So I apologize. But let's get started at looking at some of our favorite kitchen items. Okay, so these aren't necessarily in the order in which we like them, but I'm just gonna throw a bunch of them at you. So take it with a grain of salt, okay? First, I wanna talk about our cutting board. This is totally bamboo. Now, before we get into more, I will say, I will try to link the exact same thing if I can. If I can't, I will try to link something very similar for you guys. But this is our cutting board. As you can see, it's fairly large. This is the size we always go with because we want plenty of surface to cut our vegetables on. We use this cutting board daily. We never put it away. It's always on the countertop. Why put it away when we use it every day multiple times? It has a flat side like this, which we keep up 99% of the time. Now if we have like a turkey to carve or a whole chicken, we'll flip it over and we'll use this side. This is a must for us to have the double-sided cutting board with a really big trough for drainage when you're cutting any sort of big meat, like I said, a turkey or a whole chicken. So this is one of our favorites. I will say we've had this for probably three to four years. I'm not exactly sure how long, but we've had many cutting boards in the past. This cutting board is so low maintenance. I think I've treated it like three times, <laughs> like the lowest number of times. It's ridiculous. I should treat it much more, but it's not showing any sign of warping, which we've had a problem with cutting boards in the past. They've always worked on us, but this one, it's been a workhorse in our kitchen. Sorry, <laughs> that was up. Okay. You probably noticed the towel that we have under it. We used to use one of those non-skid mats under it, but I didn't like that because I couldn't wash it. This is from Ikea and we just have it folded in half. It fits perfectly in half underneath our cutting board and our cutting board does not move. Like, okay, yes, if you're gonna do this, it will move. But are you doing that when you're cutting? I hope, I hope not. You're getting too involved if you're doing that. But like when you're just using a knife, like it really doesn't budge. So I would definitely recommend a towel like that. Um, like I said, I especially like that you can wash it. Okay, the next thing, since we're right here, our knife block. It's magnetic. It's so slim. I love that we can just push it back and it takes up very little counter space. Um, we don't like to buy knife sets. We instead like to buy whatever knife we like. Um, we like to pick the pairing knife we like, the chef's knife we like, and it's not always necessarily the same brand. So I really like this knife block in the sense that you can do that. And we've got all kinds of different knives from all kinds of different brands on here. And the magnet, it works so well. The magnet is awesome. Doesn't damage your knives. You have two sides that you can put them on. And I will also link this for you guys in the description in case you're interested. That's been an awesome piece for us. Okay. 
Next is our Dutch oven. I think this is six quart. Now you can get this in all kinds of different brands. I'm not sure the performance on every brand. I think Lodge is pretty good. There is a lot of higher scale, more expensive brands. We got this at Aldi when we lived in Iowa. It costs $30. We use it weekly, usually multiple times, and it's been awesome. We've had it for probably six years. We haven't had any problems. $30. I'll show you the inside. Looks pretty good. Um, they do have a couple different sizes and we don't have Aldi in our area now in New Mexico, but when we lived in Iowa, they were releasing these around the holidays. So look for them around Thanksgiving if they're still doing it. Okay, we also have an instant pot. Don't make me get it out. I'll get it out. It's eight quarts. No, it's not too big. Never too big. We love it. We use it for everything. I would like to get an option with an air frying. I would like to get an instant pot with an air frying option as well. But for now, this is what we have. Eight quarts. We love it. Okay. Hi. Next, let's talk about our salt cave. I don't, I think that's what they call these. We got this at World Market a long time ago. They don't sell them anymore. I love that it says salt on the top. If you have guests, it makes it really clear what's in there. It has a swivel lid, so you never lose track of it. It comes with a spoon. I love this. If I can find something similar on Amazon, I will definitely link it. I don't know why they stopped selling this particular one, but it's awesome. It's, it's really pretty too. Next, and I believe this was my husband's favorite thing, if not our food processor, one or the other. But next is our Vitamix. The blender is in the on the drying rack, so I'm not gonna grab that. But we wanted a Vitamix for a long time but the price point is just so high we weren't able to afford it. But we did actually buy this one refurbished off of Amazon, and so it was drastically reduced in price. It has been a workhorse for us. We use it for gluten-free flours, nut butters. I just used it this morning for a smoothie. Last night we made white rice flour in it. I mean, we use it for a lot of different things. It's super helpful, and like I said, if you can't afford like the full price Vitamix and think about getting a refurbished one. This has been just as good for us. Next for me, I love my Corel dishes. These are modern, so you don't have to worry about lead in the paint or anything like that. But I love Corel. They stack so nicely. They take up so little space. I have never had one break and I've been using them my entire life. I mean, I've never had one break that I can remember. Um, they go in the dishwasher, they clean up so nice. They have all kinds of different patterns and they're constantly switching them out. I will link this pattern in the description box. I like to buy my Corel pieces singly instead of in a set because I don't like those stupid mugs. I don't need like four of those and I don't need those itty bitty plates. But I do like, I think these are called the lunch plates and these are the dinner plates, but I'll look. But I do like these two sizes a lot. We use them all the time, literally every day. I love them. I especially love this pattern. It looks like vintage lace to me. I love that it's black and it'll go with anything. I just think it's so pretty. I'm not sure if they're selling this pattern singly. Is that a word? I'm going to keep using it singly anymore or just in a set. I feel like last time I looked, it was only in a set, but I will still link it for you so you know what it's called. Okay, you guys should appreciate this. I just took this out of the dishwasher and washed it so that I could show you guys. <sighs> okay. This looks like a beer mug, right? Because it is. I like to use it for iced coffee. We drink mainly iced coffee, even in the winters. This has a substantial handle. It's hefty and I can put double the amount of caffeine in here and then have another glass and not feel guilty because it's still two glasses of coffee, right? 
This is from Crate and Barrel. I will also link it. I'm sure you can find it more places, but I do love this for my iced coffee. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna show you guys, but certainly not least, and this isn't like a list of the only things we love in our kitchen, but I would say these are the top things. But is our um, food processor, well, it's a little dirty. Sorry about that. But we use this a lot too. It's a workhorse in the kitchen. Um, I like to use it, like if I have a lot of things that need to be like finely sliced or diced, sometimes I'll, I'll just throw them in here and just do it all at once so I don't have to like chop everything individually. Um, but this has been awesome. Um, get this piece out. I will link this for you guys too. It's a Cuisinart. I'm not sure how big it is. We've had it. I think this was, um, a gift for our wedding. So like we've had it for almost eight years, but we really like it. It works really well for us. And so, like I said, I'll link this for you guys as well so that you can get one for yourself. Okay. So that's what I have for you guys today. I hope this video was helpful and that you found something that you're interested in for yourself because these things have really made our kitchen, um, our kitchen life easier and more enjoyable. Um, I know some of it was random, but I think I, I like to know those random items every once in a while that you don't think about. So don't forget to subscribe. If you're new to my channel, hit that thumbs up if you liked it share this content. I would really appreciate it. And you guys, I'll see you in the next one.